I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American style. In this exercise, I'm going to force hands. Do you ever play in tournaments? You know, they do have prizes at tournaments where they have maybe the first hand in each category wins a prize. In this exercise that I call Charleston Force, we're going to pick categories in advance and force hands. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and want to improve your game, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn something new. Let's do Charleston Force. I'm going to mix these up and we'll pick three random categories. We're going to play the year, edition, 369. This is a really great way to force yourself to play categories on the card that you might normally not consider. It's interesting how people tend to play their favorites. If you practice Charleston Force, you'll see many more opportunities when you play Mahjong, not only in a tournament, but in regular games. We're going to say we're the dealer here, so I'm going to take 14 random tiles. And then I'm going to create a mock Charleston. This is not meant to be exactly what it would be like playing in a live game. This is a mock Charleston, so it is just to simulate incoming passes. We are going to force year, edition, and 369 categories. Ooh, we got a white dragon. Year, edition, 369. We don't have any nines, so I don't think 369 is going to work this time. We have no flowers, so I think addition is out. I think we should try for a year hand. We do have three tiles to a year hand. Let's go for it. As an option, let's keep these three just in case a lucky 13 comes in. And let's go ahead and break up this west and pass these three right here. There's a one just in case lucky 13 comes in. Here's a nine and a six. So those won't be helpful for the year category. We'll pass these. Okay, there's a seven. Here's a three and a five for a lucky 13 potential. We have two tiles to pass, so we have to pick a hand or whittle down our category. Let's give up the two dot because if we play a year category, we only have three tiles. We have way more tiles to Lucky 13. Let's switch to Lucky 13. Even though we have no flowers, we could use these jokers. Let's give these three away. Oh, there's a white and an east and a west. Now we have to make a choice. Eight, five, one, three. We can give these up. Let's focus on the one suit option or the year. We're in between. Let's pass these three. There's a flower. We have tiles we can pass. We still don't have to pick a hand. Okay, there's a two. Now we have more year tiles than we do lucky 13. 2017. Oh, look, there's a pung though. We have an eight and we're on last right. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five versus one, two, three, four, five. We're in between. Because the year category requires only two flowers versus needing four flowers for lucky 13, let's go for the year. And we'll pass these three. Let's hold these for joker bait. There's a flower and a one. 
and we can pass two for the optional cross. So we are playing a year hand. I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll, we'll just do it anyway. Okay, five and east. So we have four discards. Four, well, really two discards plus joker bait. So if anyone throws out an exposure with eights and jokers, we can use these to maybe get a couple jokers in our hand. So we can use these jokers in here for the two, maybe the seven if we need to. But I think that 2017 hand came in pretty well. Two discards plus joker bait. And that's a pretty good Charleston for the year category. If you would have stuck with that lucky 13, write it in the comment section and let me know. All right, on to the next one. Okay, here we go. We need to make an addition hand work or 369. All right, addition or 369, we have one flower, no multiples. We do have a three, we have a nine, for the same suit, we don't have any fours or ones. If we do mixed suits, we could do a nine, four, or an eight, five. Here's an eight, nine, four, eight, five, six, seven. I'm thinking lucky 13. And we have a couple of three, six, nines. So here we have a west and a two. I do not want to pass like numbers. So we have to whittle down our options. This is the only three that we have. 369 is part of our potential categories that we're forcing, so I would keep these. Let's give up on one of the mixed suit lucky 13 options. If we played, let's give up the four for now, because we can still play eight, five, three in mixed suits. We could play six. Yeah, we really don't need the seven. We need um, a seven a dot instead of a seven bam. So let's throw these three and see how this goes. All right, here's a six bam. Six bam, three, six, nine is looking better six seven one three we don't have a one or a three a seven dot would be better we can give up one of the twos here's a nine for potential three six nine here's an eight so eight five for lucky 13. let's throw these two Okay, seven dot, six, seven, one, three. We even got the, the one crack. Six, seven, one, three. There's a pair of twos for joker bait. This is joker bait. We have like numbers. So six, seven, one, three. We could also play a three, six, nine. There's a three, six, nine in mixed suits. That would be the third one down under three, six, nine, three crack, six, bam, nine dot. Let's break this up and pass five, eight, nine. We'll put the joker back. Five dot, that's not gonna help. The six crack, not helpful. Let's give up the eight. Bam. There's a flower. Seven dot. Oh, that lucky 13's coming in. Joker bait. Now we have two more passes left. We have five discards. I'm going to break this up right now 
because if you let's say that we don't break that up and keep it and we get three tiles we want to keep we'll be stuck with passing a pair or breaking up our hand so i'm going to break that up right now and pass these three all right we've got tiles we can pass i'm going to keep the joker or the dragon i mean it's not a joker it's a dragon all right let's pass these three we're looking for six bam seven dot and flowers okay we've already got our one crack handled so we don't need that we can pass these three for optional cross okay no keepers we're five discards away so we need a flower a seven dot and a six bam five discards that wasn't as good as i hoped but five discards for forcing a hand is not too bad there's the addition hand six seven one three six seven thirteen six plus seven equals thirteen that would be the last one under the lucky 13 category okay we are now going to make three six nine work that's the category up for grabs for a prize Fourteen random tiles. Okay, that's it. Nine crack. Here's a red dragon. 369 that's all we have to work with but with the red dragon this year with the matching suit we can't use these flowers so i think we should probably end up passing those if we're going to make a 369 work here that's all we have right there let's see how this goes we do have some joker bait here let's pass these three there's a nine here's a one two we need to break this up a bit let's go ahead and get rid of the west and a seven i don't want to pass the dragons because they're quite valuable i think let's pass these three There's a flower. We only need two flowers though for the 369 options. We don't need both of all of them, but we do have tiles that we can pass here. There's a six. And we have tiles we can pass. Let's pass these three. Even odd wind. I think that's the best pass you can do. A wind, an even, and an odd in mixed suits. There's a three and a six. And we have tiles we can pass. Let's pass these three. Well, let's mix this up a little bit more. Let's pass those three. Oops. Oh my gosh, look at that. We got some joker bait because we can't use them all. We're playing three, six, nine. Let's get rid of that joker there. Okay, we have tiles we can pass. There's a six. And we have two tiles to pass. Three, six, nine. We do not need all these flowers. Let's see here. 
we'll make it pretty and keep the twos. You don't have to do that. That's just my OCD screaming to be fed. Joker bait, two discards, unless we pick something. So let's look at, and there are two options with flowers. The third one down, three, six, nine, and one suit, or three, six, nine mixed. So we could maybe play three, six, nine mixed, or the second, or the last one, three, six, nine, and one suit is an option too. Okay, we're kind of in between. And then we have three six in pungs and nines in pungs. We we could maybe make that work. Nope, we don't have nine bams. No nine bams. I'm thinking the three six nine in mixed suits or three six nine in one suit. Either way, we don't need the six bam. I'm thinking, oh, you know what? We could do that three, six, nine, nine. But if we build around these multiples, that's the strength of the hand. Three, six, three, six, six, nine, three, six, nine, nine, three, six, nine in mixed suits. Let's just go ahead and pass one blind. Keep the options open. I don't even think there's anything in here that we're going to go ahead and take two. Okay, we have five discards, which again is not too bad if you think about forcing a hand. We've got five or two discards with joker bait, and we made a three, six, nine hand work from two or three tiles, I think. So that's not too bad. We're in between the two flower hands under three, six, nine. The third one down in either the same suit or mixed suits. Or we could do even the last hand, three, six, nine, nine, in, in um, three different suits. So we've got options for that three, six, nine. If you would have done something different for any of those, write down which hand like hand one, two, or three, and let me know. I'll look into it. If you play in tournaments and you have a set at home, get out your set and practice Charleston Force. The next time you go to a tournament, let me know if you felt more confident going for prizes or if you came home with a prize. That would be awesome. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or pick up on some insights into the game that may give you an advantage at the table, especially at a tournament. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.